It's the 2011 Mustang V6 from Ford. Mustang muscle meets best in class fuel economy. No more excuses, you can drive your dream at 30 miles per gallon and 305 horsepower. This is one fast car. We are here at Dodge, and let me tell you something, these aren't your dad's cars anymore. They're pretty cool. Just look. Well, this is the Viper GTSR Daytona 24-hour winner. This Viper won an overall victory in the 2,024 hours of Daytona. The GT Viper also went on to win the American Le Mans Series Championship that same year. This car was provided from Walter P. Chrysler Museum. Well, everybody remembers the Dodge Challenger, and it's better than ever. Look at those lines. This is the Dodge Challenger with a 6.1 Hemi engine. Some would say it's a monster, but a fun to drive car. It'll get you 14 miles per gallon in the city, 22 on the highway, but who cares? It's fun to drive. This is the Chrysler 2010 Sebring Convertible Limited. Now this is also a pretty fast car that gets you about 16 miles per gallon in the city, 27 on the highway, and another good reason to get a suntan. This might look like a golf cart, but it is actually a car you can drive on the street. Goes about 25 miles an hour. It's green driving. More cars in the green arena, and this one is a real gem. It's called the gem. It's a concept car. It's called the lower 40. It's pretty much to demonstrate a JK 2009, how they can put 40 inch tires on there with 20 inch wheels, and there's no suspension kit on it. This looks like it would be a lot of fun, doesn't it? It does. It reminds me of a Grand Canyon type of, of escape. And there's also a 5.7 liter Hemi engine in it. So the torque is just unreal. That's what everybody's saying. And the color, it's I love the color name. It is a red eye number three. This is the Jeep 2010 Wrangler Unlimited Sport 4x2 at a very reasonable price at about $26,000. It'll get you 15 miles in the city and 20 on the highway. And this car will get you off road too. We told you we would take you inside at the LA Auto Show, and we have certainly done this with this Dodge Ram. From cars to even motorbikes, BMW is the ultimate driving experience for everyone. Welcome to the BMW hey guys, concept car. The vision is efficient as well as sporty. The design well impressive with high performance and efficiency that defines the BMW brand. Hey guys, I'm not in the jungle. I'm actually just in the Range Rover booth. As you can see, the Scion comes with his own little car case, just like Hot Wheels. This is the Epic Cartel Scion TC. Major highlights that make this build unique with its new twist of technology and insane flowing body lines. It's been chopped three inches with B pillars and center glass. The style build makes for a great display card that interacts with its consumers and vendors. The Epic completes the Scion line of cars, better known as Trilogy. And if you're looking for a disco in your car, well, guess what? The Scion would be the one. Well, it's a classic Mazda and one that everyone loves, the 2010 MX-5 Miata. Gets about 21 miles in the city and 28 on the highway. Another very fun car to drive. Just in case this car looks a little bit familiar to you as it does to me, that's because it's Christian Fittipaldi and Brian Herta's ride in the American Le Mans series. You can certainly fit a lot in this Honda Fit. It's the new model for 2010. It gets great gas mileage, about 27 in the city and 33 on the highway. 
and certainly a lot of fun. Well, this car looks more like something you see out of the Jetsons. Just one seat in the middle, but it's called the Peanut, a design study for an ultra-compact, sophisticated, coupe fashion around the city lifestyle. Sticking with the green theme here at Honda, it's the Civic Natural Gas Vehicle. 2009. Now, this car costs you about $20,000 but gets you great gas mileage. 24 in the city, 36 on the highway. Well, you can't get anywhere without a good set of wheels and Yokohama has the tires and wheels for every car. There are cars, and then there are supercars. The SR7 is the winningest supercar-based racing vehicle ever. 263 races, 217 top 10s, 165 podiums, 104 wins, 92 poles, 84 fastest laps, nine GT championships. Now that's racing. Aston Martin has developed its own incredibly light and strong aerospace specification bonded aluminum structure. It's not just the body structure though, there's space in this car. Yeah, the Spiker itself is a, is a Dutch brand. Um, it's a very exclusive uh, manufacturer. We make about 80 to 100 cars a year, and essentially it's modern vintage. These cars are all coach built, all done in aluminum, um, with an Audi source power plant, very much a driver car. There's no traction control, no stability control, and our short wheelbase car is not even boosted brakes, so it's very much an exhilarating drive. Now, this is a car that you said is in Europe. Is it more predominant there as well? or? Well, with most exotic cars, the biggest market is always the United States, and the biggest market in the United States is always Southern California. So the majority of spikers in the U.S. are already here. If you're looking for a high-performance sports car you can actually drive on the streets, the Lotus would be the one. Well, just in case it rains, you are prepared with the Rolls-Royce. Well, a lot of cars have luxury, but the Rolls-Royce, of course, has the best, complete with champagne. And if you're looking for class and can't pay as much as a Rolls-Royce, you might consider the Mercedes-Benz. It's called the smart car, something you might not know. It's made by a Mercedes-Benz, which means the quality is there. It even has a safety rating, five out of five stars. So in addition to a great price and awesome gas mileage, you can get 33 miles in the city and 41 on the highway. Estimated fuel cost a year, $1,250. It's a very safe little car.